let's look at the reproductive organ first. Uh, we are going to look at the back sexual organ, that's the male sexual organ. Then we are going to look at the female sexual organs, and we are going to look at the major, the major organs, the major organs within. Uh, and in our first pictogram, we have the the male organ, and we have some parts which are indicated. We have the major, which is a sperm duct. We have the testicles. We have the testes, epididymis and penis now the if you look if you look at the the location of the testes of a, a back you will realize it is strategically positioned in a way for a certain adaptation and in our case we have the scrotum scrotum which helps in regulating the temperatures of the testicles Remember, it is in the testicles that we have what we call spermatogenesis. We have spermatogenesis, which basically means uh, making of sperms. And during this process, it requires a temperature lower than the body temperature of the back, which is at 7.5. So it requires a lower temperature of about 35 degrees. So for this activity to take place, seminal fluids together with the of fluids and sperm, sperm cells, they form semen. Now semen are deposited in the vagina by the penis of the back uh, here. And from here, the, the vagina contains a contractive muscles which now propels the, the sperms towards the uterus and the sperms move uh, to the oviduct. Now, let's look at the male, the female organ, the female organ or the door sexual organ. We have the major, the major part. We have the vulva, which is the external part of the reproductive organ. Then we have the, the vagina, which is the, uh, the part between the vulva and the cervix. Then we have the cervix, which is almost at the opening of the uterus. And we have the oviduct and the ovaries. The ovaries, this is where we have the, the female egg. Uh, fertilization basically takes place during after mating. Once the sperm cells have been deposited in the vagina and they move towards the uterus, the fertilization takes place here after ovulation after ovulation the egg moved from the ovary and deposited here and we have the fertilization taking place here after some few days the the embryo the embryo moves and is deposited at this particular point which is part of the endometrium of the uterus we need also to understand some of the fa some of the factors that must be considered during the whole fertilization process or the mating or breeding process. One is that the back of the of the male should start mating when is twelve years or twelve months old. That is one year, meaning that the maturity takes the maturity of the back. Is supposed to be accomplished before 12 months or the end at this particular point the bank should only serve 10 doses and after two years the bank is supposed to serve 25 doses after three years the bank should serve 40 doses but it should be also be noted that during some during this period, the bank must be fed and the high nutritious food for it to continue uh, in its productivity. Uh, for the female or the doe, it matures from four to six months. Female retires around 10 to 12 years 
old, but this can proceed depending on the on the feed and also the health of the female or the doe. Uh, proper weight must be also be achieved before mating of the female, and this has to be done with nutritious or balanced diet uh, when feeding your your female doe.